can you tell me what is? Do you have something like favorite equation? If there, if I have a favorite equation, um, there are many equations that are nice. I don't know that there have a really central equation, but some equations matter more. Um, so, for example, this kind of equation is very interesting. Um, uh, people have been studying equations like this for several decades now for uh, trying to understand uh, what neurons do. Um, and basically, this is an equation that um, uh, tells us about what configurations of patterns of activations and firing rates the neurons like to take together. So it involves a sum over all pairs of neurons that are connected to each other. And those rows uh, uh, correspond to the firing rates of different neurons. Um, and those Ws here correspond to how much they, they like to be active together or not. If it's positive, it means they like to be on together. And if it's negative, it means they, they don't like to be on together. And, uh, and, and many people believe that uh, it's sufficient to describe these neuron-to-neuron -neuron interactions to essentially describe what the brain does. Um, and what neurons do then uh, is try to make this agreement uh, improve, so here it decreases, um, as time passes. So your brain is trying to find configurations that are in agreement with your internal model of reality. Um, and that's what your brain does all the time. It tries to figure out what's going on by finding an explanation, which means a configuration which is in agreement with everything you're seeing or hearing and so on. So that's a pretty um, central equation, I think. Uh, it, uh, it's a theory, of course. We don't know what the brain really does. You have to keep these things in mind. And it's been used uh, also uh, not just by neuroscientists, but also by people in machine learning which is what I do, mostly, um, to build models that can learn from, from examples. Uh, for me, as a, I, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm using, not a scientist. I'm using jargon, but... No, 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 no problem, but, but uh, um, I see a comparison with, with other people who like a song. You like an equation. Yes. Is that right? Uh, can I compare that? Yes, um, but equations are ways to describe an idea. Uh, in in a in a clear way, um, the original concept is something else. So the the it's like maybe the lyrics is not the whole song, right? There's something more to it. Uh, you have to understand what the me words mean to start building up a picture, and usually. Uh, you have to hear somebody explain what they mean by this equation. Not just what the letters mean and, and the usual mathematical notation, but they have a mental picture. And so when we give a talk, that's what we do. We try to explain this mental picture to other humans, to communicate something that is in our brain to their brain. And the equation is part of the communication package that is very, very useful because sometimes just words are are not precise enough, or somebody could understand something else. This way, uh, it, it, can, it can avoid ambiguity. Uh, I understand, I think. <laughs> um, can, can you uh, read what, what, what is there? Yes. What does it say? Yeah, yeah. So and, I was and then I don't have to understand. Yeah, sure. So, so I use the letter E here for energy, which is a term that people use in, no, in this sorry, field. Sorry, you don't have to explain, but just read what... Oh, what read the letters? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. So E is one half of the norm of S squared, where S is the state of the system, minus the sum over all IJs of WIJ rho of SI rho of SJ. Okay, and this, these rows are functions, and the weights are synaptic strengths, and this S are um, neuron activity measures. Wow. Huh. And uh, um, regarding the comparison with the, with the song, do you have a favorite song? Um, if I have favorite songs, um, mm, there are songs that I like. Um, 
I'm, I'm not a big uh, listener of songs. Um, yeah. Um, so I like um, I like some uh, some French uh, French songs and uh, I like some uh, um, rock from the sixties and seventies. Um, Not one particular song. Some 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 li like a soundtrack of your life. Uh, I don't know. I would have to think about it. Um, yeah, no, nothing comes up. Um, so I remember for some time, I mean, depending on your mood, right? So um, uh, you must know, uh, I, I was a big fan of uh, 2001 uh, Space Odyssey. And uh, yeah, a song for me takes meaning in some context. And so there's this also uh, Sparse uh, Zaratustra. Uh, which is uh, pretty, pretty powerful yeah. uh, in that movie at the beginning and also in other places. Uh, it's not a song here, it's more like a, a music, I would say. Um, yeah. That's one you like. Yeah, yeah. But it may not be representative. I mean, it's, it's pretty hard to listen, this stuff. Uh, easier to listen things are um, as I said, uh, you know, uh, French songs um, and, um, and also like um, the music that I was hearing when I was a child. Uh, my parents were listening to things like um, um, uh, Pink Floyd and uh, Doors and things like that. <laughs> so I kept that sort of interests. Uh, you, uh, you grew up with music like that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Well, thank you very much. You're now welcome. we uh, start talking. Yeah.